all. Take off my glasses so they don't fall off. And we will start with our next. So again, if you haven't been with us before, we're doing a combination of a static and active isolated stretch. Active isolated targets is usually a specific muscle. Um, so we're going to start out a little side of our trap. We're going to drop our, um, and again, if I'm backwards, we're trying to figure out on Tai Chi, and I, I'm not good at that stuff. So I'm dropping my right hand down, tilting to the left, opening up between my ear and my shoulder blade. So this guy's coming down, down, down. Holding for a one, two count, come on and back up. Yeah, so last Thursday we tried to figure it out and they said, just do whatever you're gonna do. We listen to what you say and we kind of watch what you're doing, but side doesn't matter to us. So do one side, bend the other. <laughs> There's the big rule for the day. Um, and like I said, I know that uh, Nancy and all the rest of the clubs are just actively waiting on the government uh, OKs to, to start opening up a little bit more. I did hear, and I know that uh, I, got, I got a hot tub uh, group in here. Hot tub's gonna be the last thing because it's too close. You, you guys are all too close together, so darn it. Oh, a couple more, everybody. Rushing to get ready. Took Charlie on a little walk. You missed it, Christy. We had a Charlie viewing. <laughs> Guess you don't see enough pets during the day. <laughs> uh, one more, everybody. Drop the other arm down, tilt the other way. Like I said, I'm doing my left this time because I just did my right, so. Uh, what else exciting? Larry hopefully worked his last night cruise shift last night for hopefully the rest of his life, let's face it. Um, so that, that was entertaining this morning, a little bit difference in the routine. Okay, one more everybody. I'm gonna go back to my right arm. I'm gonna look to my left knee. So I'm coming at an angle, dropping down, opening up. Shoulder blades going down my back, chin going away from my midline. Um, levator scapula, you know, it's that muscle that helps the trap hold up if you're carrying a backpack on one shoulder or a purse. Or, uh oh, somebody's volume's on. It's all good. Couple more, everybody. Okay, one more. Drop your left hand down, tilt your head towards the right knee, drop on down. Okay, number four, two more. Ooh. Okay, one more everybody. This might be some barking. This one, we're just gonna turn our head. Again, drop that right hand down, leaving that shoulder low, turn to the left, kind of, you know, increase your range of motion on that one. Um, so you're not forcing, forcing, but you're, you're moving against your comfort level, just trying to open up. If you just got up like I did, I have walked around the block with the dog, um, but if you're still just not quite warmed up, be nice to yourself, but you know, try to, try to get, to where uh, you feel that stretch. Okay, one more everybody. Same thing, drop your left hand down, turn to the right. And again, I know one of our members has said this has really helped them at the four-way stop. So it's, it's little stuff like this that really um, adds up in the long run increasing your ability to uh, be safe and your ability to function as you go through your day. So, couple more everybody. Okay, last one. Come on, back to center. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm posteriorly retracting my jaw, my whole head really, coming back, tucking down, opening up the base of my skull and my neck. So this is the, the counterpoint to um, slouching in front of the computer or being on your uh, phone too much and, and not uh, tucking your chin back. 
If you don't feel a double chin, you're not you're not probably getting your head back far enough. Okay. One more, everybody. Okay, and then I'm gonna stay this way and I'm gonna do my forearm. So we're coming here, we're tilting here. Um, this is this is our, our wrist flexors. This is the easy way. You can lock that out, same thing. Uh, whenever it's working for you, but you're keeping, uh, again, active isolation, you're coming in, you're coming out, but again, you're keeping that shoulder down. So if you find your shoulder way up here, drop it on down. Come on out, come on back in. So my um, instructor was gonna join us, but I didn't see her name on the list. So the lady that uh, we took active isolated stretch from was asking to pop into class. But I did tell her, and I'll remind, and I'll remind all you, that uh, if you go to the Adwell Bay Athletic Club um, YouTube site, you can get all these videos. So, all the fun, all the chaos. Uh, one more, everybody. We're gonna turn around, we're gonna do the opposite uh, muscle group. So, wrist extensors, come on down. To, again, easy way, wrist, uh, elbow bent, a uh, little bit more aggressive, elbow straight. So, come on down. And then the most aggressive way is to thumbs up, thumbs down, cross your arms, tilt over, come across, shoulders down. And that one I like to hold is just static because it's hard to come out of and go back into. Um, so your choice, you got lots of choices on this one. Uh, really complex muscle groups, lot, covering lots of joints with these muscles. Um, go ahead, shake that one out. Same thing, other side, your choice, little bit, little bit more aggressive, shoulder down. Hold it static, hold it active, whatever you want. Oh, another deep breath or yawn, whatever you want to call that. <laughs> oh, one more nice deep breath, everybody. Flip your hand over again, your choice. Uh, elbow bent, elbow straight, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, cross over, grab shoulders down. Um, yeah, you have anything exciting to tell you this week. Like I said, we're, oh, by the way, this is Memorial Day weekend, everybody. If you didn't know, and you have to go to downtown Pismo for something, they're already coming in. The, there's there's uh, camper vans uh, parked along the side of Highway 1. People are, people are hoping that uh, Friday the governor uh, opens that a little bit more things up. So. Oh. Okay, go and release that. Shake it out, everybody. Take your thumbs, your choice. You can do one at a time. You put your hands on your thighs and just push your thumbs down, open them up. Check and see where that angle is, where, where, where your thumb gets super tight. And again, shoulders down. Um, you know, thumbs, thumbs do a lot of work for us. And we don't want to stretch those all by themselves. So give them a, a second or two of attention. Ooh, and when you're ready, go ahead and shake them out again. And then we're going to do our chest. So pectoralis muscle, roll your shoulders back, point your thumbs back behind you, open up. Pectoralis is a fan-shaped muscle. So as we come into the next one, we're going to come up an inch or two. Again, trying to get all the rays of that muscle. Okay, and then find the one that really was tightest for you and do that one again. Uh-oh, Denise has got her hand up. You can unmute yourself for a second, Denise. What's up, lady? Couple more, everybody. Or was that an oops? <laughs> you know, it's so funny, one more time, I like. After all these weeks of doing Zoom, every once in a while something happens and I go, wow, I didn't expect that. So we're gonna work towards the back of our shoulder. We're gonna come across, infraspinatus muscle coming across. If you don't find that this really stretches that back of your uh, back of your shoulder, you're going to come across, thumb down this time, come across. A little bit more aggressive uh, variation on that stretch, but do what works for your body. Oh, nice deep breath, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, two more. Okay, one more, everybody. Up at the angle. So again, your choice, you can skim your shoulder, you can skim your ear, whatever works better for you, whatever you feel 
more of a stretch out here in your lap, uh, Terry's minor, whatever's working for you. A little bit of an assist with the other hand. Okay, two more, everybody. And then we're going to go up and over. And again, you got a lot of variations, a lot of choices with this one. So what you're doing, uh, the full stretch is up and over. You know, use the strap, use your other hand, grab a hold, pull it on down, or do this, pull it across. But like I said, you can use the strap here and pull down. Um, if that is just painful for you, and you can do your tricep, tricep is straight back behind your body, a little bit of um, subscapularis, bend your elbow, gets a little bit more tricep. If you want to just come across, and that's where you're at, that's great too. Uh, again, doing what works for your body, and if all of those ranges of motion are just painful, I know a lot of you have had shoulder surgeries, feel free to do something that feels good. And again, make sure that your neck is still freely movable so that you're not um, impinging your neck after we just stretched it to try to get a little bit of range of motion in that shoulder. So, one more big breath, everybody. Go ahead and release that, shake it out. Same thing, other arm, we're coming across. And again, we're holding for a one, two count when we get out there. Just kind of thinking about holding it is, is about what it, it amounts to. <laughs> Somebody's got their dog in the picture. Uh, Charlie, so here's the funny thing is because when if you come to the Saturday, the Friday classes and you watch Summer, usually Peeny is like front and center. He's watching that, that video, he's checking it out, making sure that everything's going all right. One more, everybody. Charlie sits on the couch. So, you know, it's usually in our house um, up at the angle, everybody, and again, picking between the shoulder and the ear, wherever it feels like you get the best stretch. Um, you know, in our house, it's the wall, the couch, the coffee table, uh, and, and the hearth, and the, the computer, the iPad is set up on the coffee table pointing towards the fireplace in the hearth. And Charlie sits on the couch, and, you know, he's the little schnauzer with the eyebrows, and he just kind of sits there and judges us as we're rolling around on the floor, like, what are you doing over there? So, yeah, he is, he's not actively participating in the classes. He's just watching us like, what are you doing? But yeah, that foxtail, now he looks, one, one leg, he's, they had to put him out and do the IV. One leg looks like he is on um, the Lorax. He's got a little, a little tuft on one arm. He looks a little Michael Jackson-y. Uh, one more, everybody. And then again, your choice with the other shoulder, and you will notice that there's a lot of variations in shoulders. They don't both move the same side to side. Like this one, I'm having a much harder time getting my fingertips together. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice big breath. And the funny thing is, is where the range of motion is out is the right arm. <laughs> oh, nice big breath, everybody. Uh, one more nice big breath, everybody. Again, next got to be moving. Okay, this one's a little tighter. When you're ready, go ahead and release. Shake them on out. Ah. And then um, we're going to do a little bit of, uh, of uh, spinal, spinal twist. So again, if you just got to be super nice to yourself, we're going to interlace our fingers, push them forward, pull our shoulder blades forward, open, open, open. Come on up, roll your shoulder blades down your back. Sorry, I lost my hands. Turn your head, turn your whole body to the left. Um, if you're sitting on a table like I am, you're just going to come back and, and twist the other way. If you're sitting cross-legged on the floor, as we come back, I want you to uncross your legs, put it across the other way, come on back to center, arms up overhead, roll your shoulder blades down, twist to the other side. Again, like if you're sitting uh, cross-legged Indian style, we cross your legs the other way if you get a chance. Oh, a couple nice deep breaths, everybody. Okay, one more big breath. 
Come on back to center, drop that left hand down to the floor. Come on up and over, sinking heavy. If you're doing left hand with me, sink heavy into your right sit bone, opening up your quadratus lumborum a little bit. And again, breathing into your side ribs. Boy, I put on the sweatshirt thinking it was gonna be cool in here and it is not. It's pretty toasty already. So that's a good thing. Hopefully it'll be toasty and no wind. Yay. Okay, one more nice deep breath, everybody. Same thing, other side. I know we had somebody that was from our Ojai club. And uh, I know Ojai gets a lot warmer than it does here. So if you're in Ojai high, hopefully it's not 90 already. Um, sinking deep into that left sit bone if, you're, if you've got your right hand planted like I do. Um, yeah. So and I, I know I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you are a member of our club, uh, you know, we have like six different six sister clubs and you can visit those twice a month with for no fee. So if you're traveling, you know, you're going to Santa Cruz, you know, you're going to Ojai, you have the opportunity to um, use our sister clubs twice in a month. Come on back up. Oh. Shake it up if you need to. We're going to get on all fours. We're going to do um, our cat camel. So whatever that looks like for you. Come on up. Am I all on? Yeah, good. So curl up, drop down. Again, just warming up our spine this morning, getting things up and going. I'm actually going to move back to the bigger table. It's a little more secure. So I've got my, my standard office table and I've got my portable uh, travel table. So the travel table's uh, much broader. So if you're wondering what, what is going on here. Couple more cycles of cat camel. And after that, I'm going to put your toes together, put your knees on the uh, a little bit farther than hip width apart. If you don't have a mat, sink on back to your hips, pushing your hands out in front of you. Come on into active child's pose. Ooh, Bye, everyone. I got to go. Okay, take it easy, Pete. Thanks for showing up. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Ooh, one more nice deep breath, everybody. And then go ahead and grab your left wrist with your right wrist. And I want you to sink back into your right hip, opening up that right armpit. Couple of nice deep breaths, really breathing into those ribs, opening them up. One more. Ooh. Come on back to center, reach your um, right hand out to the right side, pull your left hand over there with it and sink into your uh, left hip, left armpit, opening up the left side of your body. Okay, everybody, back to center. Come on up on all fours again. We're going to do one of our strength moves. Again, if this isn't working for you and that's not what you want to do today, that's okay. We're going to do tiger. So what tiger's going to look like is I'm going to plant my right knee, my left hand, and my left foot and right hand are going to come up. We're going to hold it flat. Check in with the monitor. Make sure your back looks nice and flat. Make sure you're not dropping down. So come on up nice and flat, pushing uh, your fingertips towards the wall, pushing your heel towards the wall. A little bit of balance, a little bit of core work today. Um, we'll do this and we'll do our um, clamshells and then if we have time, we'll do a little bit of balance at the end. But we've been pretty much, uh, these classes are 45 minutes and uh, come on down everybody, couple cycles of cat camel. And in the class, they're 50. So that five minutes is usually what we do our balance on. So we ran out of time last week and went a little bit over. Couple cycles of cat camel, get yourself ready, do the other side. So this is going to be my left hand, right foot, taken on out. Again, if you need to, look into your monitor, make sure your back is flat. Okay, 
Okay, come on down, everybody. And again, a couple cycles of cat camel. If you want, you can do circles. You know, leaning into your side, coming up and around, going the other way. Um, actually, a variation is just forward and just back. Just kind of loosening up, rounding up, opening up, whatever's working for you today. Up and then down. We're going to move on to our side. And we're going to do our um, hip flexor stretches. We're going to do our clamshells, our other strength move. And then we'll uh, move into more stretching on our back. Okay, a couple cycles of cat cam. When you're ready, go ahead. Actually, let's do seated first. And, nope, I like. Let's do sideline. Curl into a small ball. I realized I lost half my bottom. Sorry, everybody. Um, curl into a small ball. Trying to get your bottom knee as close to your nose as you can so that your lumbar spine is in flexion. You're going to grab your top leg. You're going to pull it back. I like this one static. You can do it active. You can release that foot out. You can bring it on back. Whatever you like. I like it static. Like I said, I find that I'm able to engage my core better, keep myself locked in so that my lumbar spine is in flexion, uh, not hyperextending my low back and hurting it. If you need, get a pillow from underneath your head. And just kind of relax into it. If you notice you've been sitting more with this whole thing, your hip flexors are probably getting tight, and this is a good stretch for that. So when you're ready, go ahead and kick it on out, shake it out a little bit. Go ahead and arc on over to the other side. I don't normally have shoes on, but like I said, I walked Charlie this morning, and I got, I got my shoes on, and it's a little weird. Um, again, curl into a small ball, get that lower knee as close to your nose as you can, pull that top leg back. Drop down. If your thigh is way up here, that usually means that your IT band is tight, and we're going to get to that in just a second. So try to get at least parallel to the floor, if not even a little bit down. It's another one of those muscles that's a fan-shaped muscle. So um, you know, depending on the angle of your thigh, it's the angle of the insertion on the inside of that thigh that um, dictates which uh, which ray of that muscle you're stretching. Go ahead and kick it out. And then from there, we're going to do our clamshells. So clamshells, you got choices again. Those of you that have been with me a while are probably getting sick of this. This is the easy guy. So feet together, feet together. Um, doing this, the harder variation is, is knee bent, uh, feet separated. The hard version is straight out, longer lever arm, the weight's out there farther. Toes pointed forward, if even not a little down towards the floor. You don't want to be doing this different muscle. Okay, and with that description, I lost count. I think that was the last one. Great, come on down. Back over to the other side. Last time we're going to make you flip from side to side, I swear. That part I do swear off. So we're going to do a small ball one more time. Pick your poison, feet together, feet apart, knee bent, or legs straight, whatever you're doing. One more, everybody. Ugh, that eighth one. Ugh, always the eighth one. Um, go ahead, sit on up. So now that we now that we've warmed those muscles up, now we're gonna stretch them. So what that looks like is this is this is kind of like doing the, the the wrist extensors. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna put our feet out forward. Um, we're gonna come into uh, 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 staff pose. So we're gonna take our right foot, put on the outside of our left knee, sit up nice and tall. Pull that right knee towards our left shoulder. So we're going this way, over here, spinal twist towards the right. That's perfectly fine. If you really want to stretch your IT band though, again, one of those muscles that crosses multiple joints, you're going to start opening up that knee and whimpering just a little bit. So trying to maintain your upright posture with your torso, getting that leg over, opening up that knee, uh, this is that muscle. If you see, hopefully you don't see ladies, because that means it's super tight. If you see the guys and they've got a line down the outside of their thigh, that's this muscle. That muscle is a little tight, usually involved with people who do a lot of running. You know, sometimes just body type, it's, it's what you got going. 
come on down, shake it out, switch to the other side. So again, verbal description, left foot outside of right knee, sit up nice and tall, pull your left knee towards your right shoulder, coming across your body over, 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 sit up nice and tall, spinal twist to the left. If you want, like I said, if this is, if this feels really good and this is where you want to hang out today, great. If you want to increase it a little bit, you're going to start opening up, coming into a, more of an IT band stretch. One more nice deep breath, everybody. Ooh. Come on down, tap it out if you need to. I got to move this monitor because I, I, you guys got to see me a little bit better. Um, it's that angle, it has to be just right. Okay. We're going to do um, our adductors bookend. So you're going to sit up, feet are, soles of your feet are going to come together. Oh, so much better. Um, soles of your feet are going to come together. Sit up nice and tall. Uh, if you want class, Clasp your toes, scooch on in a little bit. Ideally, your, your knees are going this way. Um, doing what you can, sitting up nice and tall. Again, ears, a, ears, ears way away from shoulders, shoulders way away from your ears. Sit up nice and tall. If you want to come forward, you're going to hinge from your hips first, not a whole lot of range of motion. Once you've got all the range of motion out of, out of your hips, then you can really stir up her torso, but really not the stretch that we're aiming for today. But it feels good to relax into it. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath with me. One more nice deep breath, everybody. Okay, if you're if you're cool for it like I am, roll up one vertebrae at a time, dropping those shoulders down. Take your left foot, stick it out straight, put your right foot into your thigh. Sit up nice and tall. Again, same thing. We're going to turn our whole torso towards the left. We're going to hinge from our hips, bringing our sternum closer to our kneecap, our breastbone closer to our, to our patella. And this is a fine stretch. If you want to increase the stretch on the upper torso, once you've got it all out of the hips, you can. If you want to use your strap, you can grab the strap, pull, pull towards your foot, trying to drop that right shoulder down towards the floor a little bit more. Coming into a nice static stretch. Oh. Okay, everybody, if you've released your upper torso, again, be safe with yourself. Uh, Come up one vertebrae at a time, use your hands to push up, whatever you need to do to stay safe in your spine today. Come on up, switch to the other side. Right foot comes out, left foot comes in your thigh. Sit up nice and tall. Turn your whole torso towards the right, uh, hinging from the hips, uh, breastbone towards uh, kneecap, uh, sternum towards patella. Come on down, and once you've got all that range of motion out of your lower body, then you can release your upper body and reach for that. Again, use the strap if you like. Ooh, nice big breath. Okay, come on up again. However you're getting there safely, come on up. We're going to um, put both our feet out. We're going to do splits uh, you know, the, the best we can. We're going to sit up nice and tall, hinging from the hips, coming on forward. Again, grabbing through your toes if you can, hands in front of you. If you got, if you got a bolster or you know, if your coffee tape's in front of you and you want to grab hold of that, that's great, wherever you're at. All that range of motion is coming out of, your, out of your hips, low back, and then if you want to, then you can release your upper torso.
One more nice deep breath, everybody. Okay, and again, coming up safely, um, sitting heavy through your hips, pushing up through your hands, or just rolling up one vertebrae at a time, whatever works for you. Go ahead, take this opportunity to grab your strap, roll on your back body, and pull your knees in towards your chest, give yourself a nice big hug. Oh, rock back and forth a little bit. And then when you're ready, go ahead and place your right foot on your left knee, pull both legs in, come into a little bit of a hip opener, stretching out that piriformis muscle. So for those of you that are trying to work on your laptop on your couch at home because you're not at work at your desk, you're probably really enjoying this right now. This is a great stretch for um, you're just kind of sitting in kind of not the, the perfect seat to sit in eight hours a day. Uh, plane flights, car rides, this is, a, this is a great stretch to use before and after those events. Oh, one more nice deep breath, everybody. Ooh, 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 ah. When you're ready, go ahead and uncross, release, place the left foot on top of the right knee, come on in. Oh, this side's much worse than the other side. So. Yeah, I was looking through old emails the other day, and uh, I found one that said, when this all started, I said, okay, see you guys in two weeks. <laughs> so sorry, I was wrong. Uh, hopefully, hopefully now it's two weeks. Like I said, hopefully things are going good. Um, I, I'm not checking the stats every day, it would drive me insane. But hopefully our numbers are staying low and we'll start opening up again. So hopefully people are staying well and, and being safe out there and, and we're not getting a lot of severe cases. And they're learning more as we go along, the better start those that are having the bad, bad reactions. So that's my hope. Go ahead and uncross, uh, knees back in towards chest, give yourself a nice hug, rocking back and forth a little bit. Okay. We're going to move into our opportunity to use the strap. If you don't have a strap, don't worry about this. Very um, grab the strap, place it on the ball of your right foot. You can keep your other leg bent or straight. If you straighten it out again, you're getting kind of a passive um, opposite side hip flexor stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out our calf muscles. So toes towards the nose is the stretch. Toes towards the ceiling is the release. And again, my foot's going to leave the frame. Sorry about that. It's just I'm, the between trying to get the, the, the mat and the foot in this one, it's, it's the angle's a little hard. Um, so again, toes towards the nose is a stretch. Hold it one, two, release towards the ceiling. Come on back, toes towards the nose, one, two. One more, everybody. Now we're going to lock out our knee. Same motion, same concept as the forearm with the elbow bent, double straight. Toes towards the nose as a stretch. Toes towards the ceiling as a release. Um, we 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 stretch the more uh, the deeper, uh, not as long muscles. Um, and now we're moving into more superficial, uh, longer muscles that cross multiple joints. Ooh, man, yawny day. Of course, the has gone all night, so every noise I was up. Um, one more, everybody. Uh, go and place the strap on the ball of your foot. So we're, we're down at the end step. We're going to drop our heel down towards the floor. We're going to lift it up towards the ceiling using our quads. So what's happening is um, we're doing, again, bent knee hamstring stretches. We'll move into straight leg. But this is getting the, um, the, the, the shorter, deeper muscles stretched first before we do the more external long muscles. Two more, everybody. OK. 
Okay, last one. And so when you lock that knee out, you're going to leave it locked, drop that whole leg down as you hit, lift it up using those hip flexors we've already stretched, and then assist at the end with the strap. If you don't have a strap, like I said, not a big deal. You're trying to use your muscles to lift you up anyways, and then you just reach your neck here and grab it. One more, everybody. We're going to take the tension out. We're going to release the tension. We're going to drop it across our midline, opening up the outside of our hip, leading. So I'm doing my right leg. So my right side of my pelvis is staying absolutely uh, rooted to the ground, just opening up the outside a little bit. If you push in your heel a little bit deeper stretch, get those fascial uh, planes involved in the, in the stretch too. Oh, I'm really trying to take it. Breath, breathe into the sore spot, try to get it to relax. Okay, and then when you're ready, we're gonna drop that foot down towards the floor. We're gonna slide it out in an arc, coming out into our adductor stretch. We did a couple seated, but this is our, our sideline one. If you're at your couch and you wanna put a pillow underneath your thighs or just and hold it there static, that's great. You can do it active. I like, again, I like this one static. These are some of my trouble muscles and uh, trying to run through the range of motion. They're just like unhappy with me. So I like to do it static just to at least get a little bit of stretch in there without um, annoying them. So when you're ready, come on back to center line. Go ahead and place that strap in the other foot. Drop your right leg down, left foot swing out an arc, add up your stretch. Because what we figured out was this is the one I forget. I always forget to do the left side of the stretch for the adductor. So we do it right now so I don't forget. Okay, a couple more nice deep breaths, everybody. When you're taking those deep breaths, you should really feel your, your belly arise. So, you know, the breathing is here, not, not up here. Come on, back to midline, lift that leg up, bend into your knee. Uh, place the strap on the ball of your foot. Again, you gotta choose on different variations. They, oof, there we go. Um, bend your knee, strap on the, the, the toe, the, the ball of your foot, toes towards the nose is a stretch, toes towards the ceiling is a release. Again, if you don't have a strap, that's okay. You can, you know, just use, use your uh, tibialis anterior muscle, that muscle in the front to um, pull into that stretch. This just, by using the strap, it allows us to get an extra 20% of, of range of motion. So a little more aggressive stretch. And again, if, if this is your trouble area, you know, it might be a good idea not to use the strap. It's, it's all good today, whatever's working for you. Okay, one more, everybody. Go ahead, lock out your knee. Same, same action with the ankle. Toes towards the nose is a stretch. Toes towards the ceiling is a release. Come on back. Oh, big, big yawn. If you didn't know in your, your mask um, deficient, the club is selling masks. They're actually pretty comfortable. I've been wearing them the last couple days when I've been around other people. And um, it's nice to have more because that means I am, am washing more frequently. It was like I was trying to get it washed every other day and that was kind of a hassle. And, um, but, um, one more, everybody. Okay, moving that strap to the in, your instep, drop your heel down towards the floor, drive it up towards the ceiling. Um, they got the logo on them, so you're advertising for the club. Yay! Lift up more nice people. Whew. So, strange things to be thankful for. I can hear the doves in the background. Our ceiling must be six inches lower than the ceiling of the houses behind us. 
So the, the doves sit on their roof all day and, and make noise. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness. One more, everybody. So small mercies. Lock out that knee, drop that whole leg down as a unit, lift it up using your hip flexors. Oh. Ah. Ah. Okay, number three, halfway through. Where are we at for time? Oh yeah, we gotta get through our time here. Okay, one more, everybody. And then again, after you take that tension, hold it for that one, two, go ahead and release it. And again, leaving the left side of your hip flat on the floor, just drop out over to the right, crossing your midline, pushing through your heel. Okay, go ahead and release that. Come on back center, drop your strap off, pull your knees into your chest, give yourself a nice hug. Rocking back and forth a little bit. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have time for a balance. So uh, if you want to do your balance, uh, absolutely take this time while you got it and do balance. We're going to come up into a seated position and um, gently roll out our neck a little bit again in case we got tight doing some of these other things. So your choice, roll over to your own side, push yourself up or rock on up. I think I'm going to roll over on the side today on this table. It's a little soft for that. Come on up into a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like for you today. Sit up nice and tall. Ah. And then uh, drop your head to one side, roll it back and forth. Not a big fan of the uh, 360 degree, just in case you've got a little carotid artery issue. Or drop it back and forth, side to side. Find that spot that's still a little tight. Kind of nod into that. And see if you can't get it to release just a little bit more. When you're ready, come on back up, look up. As we breathe in, we're going to hunch our shoulders up. As we breathe out, we're going to drop them down. So breathe in. One more breathing in, coming up. And then three nice deep breaths. I got my knees in the way. Bring it down, come on into prayer position. Or if you are in the energy work, you're going to breathe in the good chi. You're going to sink it down to your lower dantian. You're going to breathe out any energy that's not working for you. One more. Come on down. I want to thank you all for being here, and I'm going to ask Ray and Ann to um, give us a shot of the pool. And like I said, I'm going to turn on everybody's audio. Sit, talk to your friends if you got time, and uh, hopefully we will be all together in person soon. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I like it.